pasok na kami sa Nativity. Yan na. Kan, yan. Oh. Sana makita ninyo. Hmm, yung amoy nakaka kuwang balahibo. Ay ay ay. Wow. Very old. Ito yung kan. Bakit pinatanggal? Eh, yun ang mga hindi. Ah. Bawal pala. Bawal lang. Pero mara, ikaw na. The first question to everybody. Where are we now? Church of Nativity. Church of Nativity. Yes. So who was born here? <laughs> are you sure about that? Yes. Why? What evidence have you got? Church of Nativity. For those who have got the mask, please put, put them on. Pull the mask. Yeah, Rick. I want the mask. Yan. Yan. Oh, Yan. What? Oh, no, give her a cow to my friend. Got it? Yes. Got it? Yes. Okay, for those who have got the mask, let's put it on. Don't go to the spot, about the start. Don't go to the spot. 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 Do you remember that? So that's a connection to say all the Old Testament were completed by the birth of Jesus Christ here in Bethlehem. And then they made also 14 stations to pray the cross of Jerusalem. Number 14 is the resurrection. So that means not only the birth, but the resurrection, which our faith was based on. Right? So what are you sure? Kasi old na old naman o. Pupunta kami mamaya doon. Ewan ko kung pupunta kami doon. Pero ito yung fan. He was not happy at all about the Christians who were commemorating the birth of Jesus Christ over here. So he arrived here and he decided to go. And Fabianism them in the exact place where those Christians were commemorating the birth And he thought by looking that the, the coming generation would forget. Because he thought the coming generation would say, it is a Fabianism term. Of course, something to do for the Christians, right? That's what he thought. But he never expected that the, the local Christians in this area would see the Paganism Temple in a different way. They, they started saying, the Paganism Temple, which was built by, by Adria, that means exactly where Jesus Christ was born. So instead of casting the Christians, an indirect way, an indirect way, he confirmed that. How did he start until St. Helen? St. Helen was the mother of Constantine, the Emperor Constantine, 328. The first thing that she looked for was the Paganism temple. 
which he found the Bhagavad Gita over here, she said, Jesus Christ could be born anywhere while he could be behind, but he must be born inside us. And that's when she started reading the first church. And the only remains that we have got from the first church are those mosaics. Please have, have, have a look at them. The mosaic, the first floor, the first area. That means all the floors was made like this. Really beautiful, right? Good. So you continue taking pictures and I will continue to extend. 328, she started building the first church. Unfortunately, it was burned and damaged, not completely destroyed, by the Samaritans. Who are the Samaritans? Do you remember them? Have you been to Shechem, to Nablus? Good. The Samaritans, is now there are not, not a lot of people, there are only about 800, 750 people. Um, and of course they have got some differences between uh, Jews and, and Samaritans, they only believe of the first five books in the Old Testament, while the Jews, they believe in all the Old Testament, 48 books. But that doesn't matter. Anyway, they were persecuted by the Byzantine Empire at that time. And they arrived from Shechem, from Nablus to here, and they burned this church. It was not completely damaged, destroyed, but was burned. And it was rebuilt again by Justinian. This church, it's also called the Justinian Church. Because all what you see now comes back to 562. Original church, never, never been destroyed, never been changed, or never been abandoned by the Christians. From 562, it is the same, and the very same church. And that's why it's considered to be the oldest church in the Holy Land. At the difference, all the other churches in the Holy Land were almost completely destroyed by the Persians in 614. When the Persians arrived here and they destroyed most of the churches, except for this one. Why? There is a reason. The tradition says on the facade of the church outside, there was an image of Melchior, Bethesar, and Gaspar. Who are they? Who are they? Three kings. The and the So most probably, they were from Persia as well. 